paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. A genuine expression. A certain Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect, your common Gilbert style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be, be to the fullest. that it's okay to feel actually in this very I would argue 2d plastic superficial vested interest uh, world of media and social media having raw emotion and just saying what you want to say is pretty uncommon there's not too many people who are at the top or celebrities or influencers that really can let themselves be vulnerable and really let themselves be like, ugh, this is how I'm feeling. And I think, I think that creates a disconnect to our own humanity and our own sanity. I think <laughs> there's no one goes through life feeling okay all the time. No one goes through life feeling happy all the time. And I think if you go through life always feeling negative and down, then that itself is a separate problem. But going through big life changes and releasing emotion, that is actually really healthy. There are many lies that are propagated to us all throughout our lives that teach us really poor ways to be self-confident and ways that don't actually help our self-confidence but end up hurting us. Social comparing, uh, self-esteem orientated life these ideas that we hold about ourselves to be true and how they're really actually poisoning us and making it impossible to have genuine self-esteem and genuine self-worth in our lives. Uh, I think for me, I put a lot of emphasis on how I looked and you know, in my edited life because, uh, simply because I think it was an inadequacy with how I was living in my own personal life, my own individual life. And I think, uh, realizing that ah, I don't like who I am. This idea of fake it till you make it and how that's actually a really poisonous idea and can end up making us feel like we're just frauds. I don't like what I'm doing. And self-worth and self-esteem make it so much of a difference when you're actually going out there and wanting to fulfill a dream of yours or to succeed in some way and to reach people because if you're not fully self-confident and fully self-esteemed, you know, it's really hard for people to reach you and to talk to you because you're so closed off and, and you're doubting yourself and you're really not fully showing up for you. Don't like the career I'm in. When you fake it till you make it in, in business or in life or in a relationship, you're not bringing your genuine self to the table and it can leave you feeling a bit empty and like you didn't really actually show up to the thing that you were wanting to show up. I'm not proud of myself. I'm not happy. I want to change stuff. And then releasing that emotion and realizing, I would argue, the amount of uh, unnecessary things I was doing and the time I'd wasted. So this idea of faking it till you make it is something that maybe our parents told us when we were getting ready to go make a speech in front of a class or something like that. Or maybe we didn't really feel like we wanted to go to school that day and so we had to fake it till you make it. It's almost like we live in a society where raw, authentic emotion is criticized, blamed, and humiliated. And I think that's setting up a really bad example to younger generations. It's like saying, you can't cry, that shows you're weak. You can't feel anything, that shows you're weak. When really, everyone feels stuff. Everyone's very good at suppressing it, I would argue. A lot of people are good at suppressing it. 
um, lately, but I think it's a bigger picture of actually, I want to feel and I want to feel my emotions so I don't bottle them up and do things out of fear and anxiety and ideas that are really poisonous to our self-confidence and our self-esteem. It's almost like letting yourself be honest with what you're doing and who you want to be gets you there. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe if you show up and just be yourself, you will have the possibility of actually genuinely connecting with somebody. And so when you fake it till you make it in business, it's equally hard because when you show up and you say, oh yeah, I'm this, that, and the other thing, like, and you're not really being your genuine self, people get a really uh, misleading idea about who you are and then you can end up feeling like a bit of a fraud, right? I would then give you the stance to say, let yourself feel. No one's perfect and no one has these perfect emotions, but being vulnerable and raw and honest with yourself is, I believe, the only way to move forward. I think we're not machines and we're not these instinctive animals. We have intellect and a sense of consciousness that allows us to analyze what's going on and analyze what we're doing, our actions, our day to day, our careers, and be able to say to ourselves, oh, something has to change. I'm not content right now. I don't like what I didn't like what I was doing. I didn't like what I was promoting and I didn't like the system I was in. I didn't like the game I was playing, so I wanted to change it. Allowing yourself to feel emotion is what connects human beings and what makes us all the same. We all have emotion. We all have doubts and fears. Admitting them to ourselves. I'm not saying everyone has to put out a raw, crazy video. Sorry, crazy isn't even the word. A raw, honest, vulnerable video. It's not crazy. It's, if anything, real life in this 2D world that we're used to. It's funny how um, when we see emotion, we think it's fake. When we see emotion, we go, that's, 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 that's not right. She has, she has a problem or I'm going to ridicule her because that's not right. And I think when you have those opinions and someone else showing emotion, like, stop crying, shut up, you're an attention seeker. Like, how often do we do that to each other? If someone's crying, we think, oh, I'm not going over there. Or if someone's having this big, like, oh, I don't want to who I want to be. It's like, ah, oh, this person's not okay. How did we get to that point? I just think it's about... When you're honest with your own emotions, then you can have compassion with other people and you don't push them away, blame them, or ridicule them for them, for their emotions. I think, yeah, let yourself feel. So when you think about your self-confidence, just I want you to stop for a second and, and think about your self-confidence. Where is your self-confidence at? Have you been pushing to try to like be seeming more self-confident than you really are? Have you been, I don't know, maybe lying to yourself a little bit about how like much self-worth you have? Or when you really stop and think about these ideas and these questions inside of your own head and heart, you'll start finding the answers. And what I found within myself is that when I have ever engaged in this idea of faking it till you make it, I've walked away feeling really empty and really unfulfilled. Doesn't matter if I'm making money or if I have been just been on a date or something. I mean, I'm married now, but when I was dating and I was pretending to be something else, I didn't actually ever get the thing that it was that I was looking for because I was too busy being somebody else. I could see what I was doing and admit to myself that I didn't like who I was becoming. And anyway, the point of this video was, I think it's totally cool to show emotion. I think it's, if not revolutionary, to be raw and vulnerable with yourself because that's the only way you're gonna move forward and really move forward out of love for yourself and I guess honesty with who you wanna be.